Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Hitman23 and I'm here with a video for you. Uh, two things. The first thing I'm going to start off with is, and I posted this on uh, uh, the YouTube, uh, not the YouTube, the Facebook Baseball Card Junkies page. I was in uh, shopping with my uh, my wife earlier today and I was in Wally World and I said, ah, let me just go by the card, the card area and see if there's anything wasn't expecting anything, got there, there was nothing, it was wiped out except for a couple packs of 2020 Heritage. I just needed something to open. I, ha I had to have something to open, so I bought them. I bought three wax, you know, not wax, yeah, three regular wax packs and one hanger pack. I got home and I opened the hanger pack and, you know, got the cards. Went to the wax packs and um, this was pleasantly in it. This surprise here was in the Heritage Rappers. Uh, 2000, uh, I guess these are 2019-20 uh, uh, optic basketball. Um, I, I was, I just, you know, I shook my head and I was like, really, really, like, for real? People are that freaking, like, ridiculous. And yes, they are, people are ridiculous. This, um, I don't know. I, I know it's been going on for a long time. And uh, I just happen to, you know, I, I happen to get stuck today with, uh, with, with this. Um, I mean, they're really nice looking cards. I mean, I'm not a basketball collector. Um, they do have some nice inserts. I mean, this is kind of a cool, this is a kind of a cool insert, express lane of Dil Damian Lillard. I mean, I, I like the insert, but... I'm just not a basketball guy. I do have some basketball cards in my collection from a, from a collection I bought three years ago. Um, there was actually a nice amount of basketball in it, and I do have some, I do have some basketball stuff, but I don't, I don't actively collect basketball. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Big thumbs down on that one. But I think, you know, because of that, the other thing that happened to me today was pretty cool. I went to another Walmart with my son. Just we were out trying to kill some time. And he likes wrestling figures. And he was looking for AEW figures. And he found one. He got Kenny Omega. And he's really psyched. So he's really, really, really pleased with that. I went to an, another. And then he found it at one Walmart. And I went to another Walmart after that. And uh, just, again, looking for cards. And um, figured I would get nothing. Um, but as I scanned the section... I see something on its side, and it was one left of this, the Mega Box. Now, I have not seen anybody open the Mega Box yet on YouTube. Maybe there are, but I just haven't seen it. Um, people have been opening, you know, the blasters and the hangers and those new those new boxes, whatever the hanger boxes, too. So, uh, But this is the uh, Topps, 2020 Topps Chrome Mega Box. It retails for $39.95. And it's got, oh, how what does it got? He got two exclusive five-card X-Fractor bonus packs inside. And total number of packs, uh, 10 packs per box. So let's get into it. I don't do a ton of openings on my channel, um, but I figured it's a mega box. Let's do it, see what we get. Maybe there's something cool inside. Um, I was pretty resigned with the fact that I probably wasn't going to get any Chrome Retail. And I actually, I had made, made this, um, I made this, uh, uh, responded to one of um, Triple Crown 24's videos and basically said, I've resigned myself that I'm probably not going to find any. Just like I did not find any Bowman and I'm okay with it. I, I got to the point where I'm like, I'm not going to go nuts and pay triple prices for them. I will buy singles um, from... My boys that sell on uh, YouTube, and I'll be happy with that. I just don't need to have it if, if it's if it's not available. I'm not paying um, these crazy prices. And uh, but my my weight paid off today, so this might be the only Chrome I open this year. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. It's crazy. I I just you know I don't know. I just I'm I'm not in love with the whole with that whole situation with the, with the state. I I love the fact that the hobby is popular, but. Um, I'm not in love with the fact and how it's um, how the distributorship is going and how people are just 
buying this stuff up to um, just to sell it. Crazy profits. I mean, more power to you. What, whatever. But I don't know. It just it just kind of leaves a little bit of a craw in my uh, in my cheek, you know. Burn my saddle. So here we go. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs right there. And the two x fractor packs. So we'll save those for last. Um, I'm only opening nine of these, though, because I have to save a pack for my unopened pack collection. If I, you know... I may not see these again, so I have to put one pack aside, and who knows what that pack may have inside. Um, so let's see. Let's just randomly pick a pack, and we're going to put this pack aside. Right, we're not opening packs? that. How many closed packs do you have? I have a lot. How many? Hundreds. I haven't counted. So when are you gonna open that it's like pack? counting how many beers you drink. I don't know. I have a lot. I'm not opening up any of them. They're my closed pack collection. So pack number one. Let's see. What if it had like oh, it doesn't have million dollar card in it. <laughs> that's not that's not my luck. That's not my luck. But I do have some cool unopened packs. I have like a 2012 Heritage unopened pack with you know that might have the the um, the Mike Trout, the first Mike Trout Heritage card in it. Um, you know, I have some pretty decent stuff. I have you know some of the more recent. It's mostly more recent stuff, and I have. Your basic stuff from the 80s. Nothing. I have no crazy things like an open 60s or 50s packs. Um, but just, I like unopened packs because I just, they are, to me, it's part of the hobby. And I'm really into, like, the um, the marketing part of it, too, and how the packs look. So, first cards of Topps 2020 Chrome that I lay my eyes on today. First card is, out of the gate, Luis Castillo. Edwin Rios, this guy's having a pretty uh, pretty good season so far. That's the Refractor rookie, uh, first baseman for the Dodgers. And we got an Albert Pujols. And I got a Tyler Glasnow. Shout out to Matt and Mateo. Oh, oh, oh. Second pack. Second packet. I saw I just got a, a note on my... Uh, on my Facebook page that uh, Filmington sent out 207 rookie card explosion boxes today. Dude, that's sick, man. I just don't have the proper timing with my um, with my funds and everything. I'll eventually get get on the trail. Maybe I'll be able to get get a subscription sometime soon. So but what are these? so those are X fractors. I'll show you the difference when I open them. So we're gonna get we're gonna give Elisa a little lesson on Chrome cards. So Chrome's are the shiny cards that Topps oh. make. See how shiny they are? Okay. And then they make different parallels. Like some are colored, some are called refractors that have more of like a, a rain, kind of more of a rainbow effect if you put them in the light. And these are X. And those are X-fractors. They, they have a design in them. You'll see. I'll show you. I show you. No worries. All right. I got the Judge. And that is just a regular. I got the Christian Yelich. Freshman Flash, AJ Puck. And Chris Bryant. Pack number three. Pack number three. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. I was uh, able to spend some time in the sun yesterday and today. That's why I'm looking a little reddish. Got this reddish hue. Trying to work on the old tan. And um, just enjoying, trying to enjoy life. Trying to enjoy life. All right, Mike. Really? There we go. Throw that over there. All right, so we got Alex Young. Hold it up a little more. Future Stars, Kevin Biggio. That's a pretty clean design this year. Not as colorful as in past years, but very clean. Uh, the staple for Topps Chrome, the Future Stars subset. I, I've always liked it. And same with the Freshman Flash. We got the Tommy Edmond. And we got the Tim Anderson. Thinking maybe he just got plunked by a pitch there. I don't know. Not sure. And let's dust into this next pack. So, all right, we got the Aquino rookie. I don't know. Has he been playing this year? I haven't really paid attention too much. Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. 
Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber. That's a refractor. You can see that right there. It's a refractor. And Nelson Cruz. Still going strong at 40. All right, we got Jorge Soler. We got Danny Jansen. Oh, I got, oh yeah, baby. This is a nice one. Ah, I psyched about this one. Uh, power and speed number, the 80s. Got the X-Fractor of Ricky. Nice, I love it. I got me some Ricky. Ricky All right. Henderson. Ricky Henderson. Oh, yeah. And Manny Machado. I like, and I like die cuts, man. So it's a die cut and it's a Ricky. Nice. Nice. All right. Adrian Morejon. Adrian Morejon. So, yes, they do put, absolutely, they do. They do. See, it's cut, die cut. It's got like a. Oh. Yeah. Chicks dig die cuts. Um, Kakuch, Kooch. This one. Oh, hey, this is a. This is a prism refractor, I believe. That's a prism refractor. Yes. Prism refractor, and then we got a Rizzo base. Got three more packs, guys. Three more packs, and we go on to the X fractors. All right, so we got the Vladdy Cup card. Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez. My boy. My boy Ramon. Laser Ramon. I love it, man. He's definitely like becoming one of my favorite players in the league. And he's got awesome cards. Awesome cards. And I got a nice uh, 35th anniversary Jordan rookie. The 1985 tops. So... Two more packs. Two more packs. Sheldon Noose. Whoops. Brian Anderson. Dylan Cease. Whoa. Ha! <laughs> and the machine of the East Coast, DJ LeMahieu. So no... Uh, Lou Rob yet, as a Mike, uh, Mike O like to say. I like that Lou Rob. Maybe it's in that unopened pack. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, it's the big rookie everybody's chasing this year. Luis Robert. Robert. Um, Jose Erquidi. Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber. Just a regular. Nico Horner, rookie. And Jose Urena. That's it for the base stuff. Now I got... Two of the X Fractor packs. So we Are will you open. The X -Factor I do not keep those closed. Those I open. Okay. Yeah, I only get two. So, I mean, I could, I could keep them open. Uh, one of them sealed, but I prefer not to. I'll just open these bad boys, and uh, we'll see what we get. Maybe there's a Robert in here. Who knows? We'll see, right? We'll see. All right, this guy's having a sick season so far. We got Charlie Blackman. And then we have, let me see, flip these over, Michael Fulmer. Oh, the dog is doing something over here. What are you doing, Bowie? <laughs> Sam Hilliard. Aquino, rookie. And Corey Seeker, Corey Seeker, Corey Seeker. All right, shout out to Pepino, man. Last pack. Last pack mojo, man. Last pack mojo. Seth Brown. John Means. Rookie cup card. Eric Hosmer. Nick Solak. And last but not least... Ronald Guzman. So that does it, folks. That's my first foray into Topps 2020 Chrome this year. It was a mega box. You get 10 packs of regular, two packs of X Fractors with five cards each. So um, not bad, not bad. 
Um, it was fun. I love ripping cards. I love opening packs. So it's it's all good. And um, they retail at Wally World for thirty nine ninety five. Um, if you're lucky to find them. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a great rest of the weekend. I'll catch you on the next video. And like I always say, may the cardboard God shine down upon y'all. Y'all come back now, you hear? Later.